this feels like the like the Joe Rogan show. Like I'm going, is it on? I don't know if this is working yet. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jody with the Whiskey Rebellion Barcast. Uh, David will be here momentarily. He had to put himself in the in the uh, in the corner mainly because uh, he, he's uh, he had some dogs barking in the background, and we don't need to have all that nonsense going when we're trying to drink bourbon. But guys, welcome to the show. You guys all know what to do. It's that thing, you know, that thing where you smash the like button. You freaking hit the um, subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you. I, I I think I'm thinking about my medical appointment tomorrow, and I'm sitting here going, <laughs> they're going to prod my butthole. I just know that's going to happen because I'm over that age You're now. That age. Yeah, I'm are at you, that are age. Are you hopeful like, they do? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Just asking. It depends on how much he has to drink on this particular podcast. You sounded tonight. like you were pretty excited. So I would anyway, just- and follow us. <laughs> follow us. Anyway, so guys, um, looks like we got a pretty cool topic tonight. I'm excited about. By the way, welcome back, White Mark. Hey, good uh, to be here. I'm glad that it's you're here. It has been. Um, hopefully, Black Mark will be here shortly. But we don't call him that. We just call him Marky Mark. Um, <laughs> yeah. But guys, everybody, what's in your glass, man? I tell you, I'm having something really mm-hmm. good tonight. This is great. Super stoked nice. about it. This is the. Uh, how did we decide we were saying this? This is the Adictivo. Adictivo. Whiskey. Man, that stuff is really, really good. Nice. Uh, there we go. Oh. Now, what's on the top of that? It's a shot. Ooh, hit the mic. Oh, Not okay. That would only be really loud to our one follower. <laughs> <laughs> Who is me? Which we, ha- which we have. Oh, that is you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a single uh, note in my phone with the name Addictivo Tequila from... Um, my guy Julian downtown. Mm-hmm. And he said, if you ever find this out there, get it. It's really great. It is it's good. A great tequila. It is good. Very I've good. never found it. And uh, I stopped by one of our local stores here. Which one was this it? Evening. Was it Gary's? Yeah, it was Gary's. Yeah, because he I called me about it. And I was it. like, eh, I'm not going to be up that way today. Yeah. And uh, was there two? There, I think there's three more. Okay, cool. That's I good think to hear. There was four. So you're going uh, to my stores now. I have to branch out, man. You're starting to steal my stores. There's a couple. I got Tony down there. You That's know, my store, too. You know, it's my hood some... store. <laughs> he's got the <laughs> rare hookups. Got nowhere to go for that. Yeah. All right. Anyway, guys, what we're going to talk about tonight, I'll, I, it'll probably be best served if uh, uh, Chuck Mark. McLaughlin uh, lets us know what, what we're going to do. But the um, So, Chuck, I'll let you take it because, I mean, we're just talking about how to find allocations, right? Yes. Basically, how to find bottle uh, allocated bottles. Or the art of whiskey hunting. There you go. Right. You know, best practices, if you will. Very cool. I like that. The art of whiskey. So shall I start That's off? Nice. Or yeah, absolutely. Go with it. Go okay. for it. <laughs> yeah. So as we know, there's a whiskey hunting season. Uh, a lot of people find it that you know it's the end of the year, say October through December, January. While others find it that it's uh, all year, all year long, actually, and. You know, the more popular labels are BTAC, Pappy Van Winkle, and all the uh, highly out, and, you know, Blanton's, of course, highly allocated stuff. Um, anything basically over six years of age yeah, with age statements on the bottles becomes pretty allocated at times. And one thing you want to do is basically build relationships with your stores if you're in a three or four tier system uh, area. You know, basically, three tier would be distiller, distributor, liquor store. Four tier would be the same thing, but there's a middleman involved. Hey, middleman. <laughs> and you want to, you know, basically have relationships with your stores, uh, set them up to where, you know, you go into a store, don't go driving around like a lot of people do, just traveling, thinking, hey, I'm going to score a bottle of Pappy. Because a lot of people go in, whip the door open to the store. Hey, you got Pappy? You got Blanton's? And the store owners actually get tired of that. Because well, let me ask times? You, let me ask yeah, you go this, ahead. Let me ask you this question, though. Because I was just having this conversation earlier this week with uh, John and um, and David over at my house when we were, we were discussing uh, the float. And we were, if you guys don't know, uh, the meal day parade's coming up and we're going to be all in it. Uh, kind of like that doctor is going to be in my backside tomorrow. Anyhow, so uh, <laughs> anyway, so very intimate. <laughs> oh, you missed that part. Anyway, I, so, I clearly uh, did. <laughs> yeah, you did, and we're not going back to it. Uh, but but anyway, so 
we were talking about that because, you know, a lot of us have built these really long and expensive relationships with some of these um, liquor stores. And some of them, you know, no matter what you do, and a couple of them come to mind uh, that are South Spring Hill, I'll say, for example, next to the food line, um, <laughs> that no matter how much money you spend there, until you're his boy, you're not getting anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, and that drives me crazy. And and then the other ones, you just you you find people, you start spending money, and then you create these, cultivate these relationships where it works. But you're not always you're not always at the top of their list to get stuff. So at what point do you just start going? You know what? I'm gonna open up my own liquor store. I'm just done with this. I mean, like when do you when do you get to that point? Like, what is it for everybody else? And I'm, I might be a little bit tongue in cheek here, but but the point is, is that it is real that you get kind of frustrated with trying to hunt for stuff. Now, fortunately, all of us have been around long enough that we generally, and of course we have this group, we generally don't have to hunt for anything. We can almost always find it. But for our viewers, that might be something that they might be looking for. How do they find it when you can't find it, essentially? One thing Uh, I want to interject with here is the the live uh, screen basically shut off and re- reclocked and reset itself. It's now at one thirty-three. Don't know if that's a problem or not, but just wanted to make you aware. Hey, I, I may be on yours. I'm still. I'm at like six six minutes. Okay, I guess we're good yeah. then. Me too. So. Yeah, same here. I was like, where is he seeing one thirty-three? He just went back in time. Yeah, you yeah, did. Dude, tell us about time travel. Yeah. Tell us about time travel. I wish I could go back to like. No, but you just did it. Just tell us how it went. Yeah, but I'd like to go back to 2002. It doesn't matter. I want to hear started. what I hear, happened. I want to get some more VTAC. Either way, I want to hear what happened just seven what? minutes ago. <laughs> seven minutes ago, it. you were talking about e- e- being anally probed. <laughs> I don't want to go back there. Now. <laughs> Touche. Go ahead. So what was your question again? I'm not going you'll through th- all of that again. You'll find out in five minutes. You'll, yeah, you'll, it'll catch back up with you here in a few minutes. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's true. I might. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you don't want to go out there and just whip the door open and say, hey, you have any blends? And then walk out of the store uh, because those, you know, the cust- or the right. store owners aren't really interested in supplying you with a product that's allocated because there's many other people that have plenty of money that they're going to spend in that store. And they can get rid of those allocated products within minutes. Literally. So it's not a problem. And they're not going to give those products to you. To people that they don't know. That Yeah, exactly. If you're going to call them on the phone, because, you know, everybody knows that you, these places get, what, 30 calls during the allocated season, which is October I, through December, maybe even sev- up to 75 some stores even take their phones off the hooks because of, you know, hey, you have the pappy. Where's the pappy? They're not going to offer you pappy because you're not coming in and buying regularly off well, the shelf. If you items. are, you're not going to get it unless you're a long time established person has probably been buying liquor from them historically for four to five, six years. That's just fact. It's true. Unless you're spending a lot of money within a short period of time, then they may. That's where I would I would encourage people to be honest with you, the secondary. Uh, I'd rather if, if it, to me, uh, if you got to spend five to ten, fifteen thousand dollars for a bottle of Pappy, I'd rather just spend twenty two hundred dollars or whatever it is on the t- mm-hmm. on the front end and be done with it today. Uh, to be honest with you, that way sure, there are a lot of people that do that. I'd, I'd rather build my relationships with people that are actually value my money. Mm-hmm. Um, and don't try to give me stuff that I just don't like. Like I don't want your waffles or whatever it's called. I don't want that. Mm-hmm. I don't. Want, I don't want your your Jack no, Daniels Singleberry Single Barrel. I don't want that. I don't I want any of this. Other, and, and by the way, uh, I never want gin. So I don't. I don't want it to be. I don't want to be put with any kind of bundle that has that in it. So if I can just go on the sink, you know, secondary and buy it, that's what I'm going to do each you know, and every time. You know how many bottles of Penelope I have? <laughs> melts. Yeah, I know. It's you know my point because Gary got you on that. He ain't the only one. Did he, did, did he just get you the regular Penelope, or did he get you, like, the barrel strength Penelope? I, I, got, I got all versions of Penelope. Red hair, yellow hair, all the Penelopes. This it's is true bad. story. I've been to his house. He does. It's, it's not bad. He has a, he has a Penelope oh. shelf. 
the, the, the Penelope barrel is, is very good. I got a bottle sitting over there. I enjoyed that one. God, the toasted barrel is fantastic. Yeah. And that's a barrel that strength. One. I have I it upstairs. Yeah. I do. I haven't had that one. No, I'm being serious. I really do. No, I believe you. I, I know. I'm, it, it doesn't matter if you don't. I, I do have it upstairs. <laughs> you know, for me, oh, I think give, it's give about... Give Chuck about five minutes. Let's check in. Let's enjoying... See. Still enjoy. waiting for it to begin. <laughs> 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 Developing a good relationship, I think, is important, but I don't feel like I have to be like the top buyer in the store. I'm not upset if I don't get the phone call first um, because it has to be something I want, mm -hmm. first of all. And secondly, I think I get to a, I'm at a point to where I say, OK, well, I got this. I got this. I got that. What else do I need? You know, I go in and I buy something else that I like, you know, that may not even be allocated. You know, but I got a Penelope that was autographed, that was gifted to me. So I feel like I'm okay where I'm at. Um, and if there's somebody who has more pull than me at the store, then I'm okay with that too. I mean, it's this is a hobby. This is not life. This is not a side hustle where I'm trying to get certain things to That's sell true. off. That's so true. for me, now nah, I'm about, okay, you know, if I get a phone call, I got this. Okay, cool. And truly... I'd rather get a phone call saying, hey, I got three bottles of Eagle Rare. How many do you want? And, you know, I could say all three and I'll get all three of them. So, <laughs> you know, I, and really and truly, um, I don't have Poppy and I'm not in search of it. I'm not going after it. It's, I've had it. I think it's decent, you know, but I'm not spending $700 for anything. I just refuse to. I'm, I'm not doing it. I've never had this poppy you speak of. I knew that's where this is. <laughs> Miami, bro. This is, this is Miami. <laughs> I, I saw that. I, can, I saw can you uh, can you tell me what she looks like? <laughs> I can tell you what she smells like too. Ooh. There you have it. So moving on. <laughs> but one more thing about this is, you know, as far as relationships go, you really want to have, you know, not only spend the money. You don't have to do you know that as much as you think you do. You want to talk to the store owners, the employees. You know, be genuine. Mm -hmm. Discuss you know bourbon, what your what your likes are, what your dislikes are, what they like, and you know form a relationship that way as well. I, I don't disagree with I, that. I, um, I, I, I agree, um, and also. What I've done, I've gone into the store and given away my own product to the store owner, you know, mm -hmm. just as a, a thank you, you know, and that's something that's personal. So, you know, I think doing that, you know, you don't always have to go in with the expectation of what can you do for me? I went in with the expectation of this is something for you. Sure. You could also go into the store if you, you know, have that relationship where you know if the store owner or the employees like a certain product or like bourbon in general, you could go in with samples of products that you've purchased, showing them that you've actually bought the products, you're opening them, you're not selling them, and you're giving them samples of the products. And, you know, I think that goes a long way as well. Yeah, I, I think there is some truth to that. I think there is that hesitation that, that they think a lot of people are in the market to play the secondary game, and I agree. I, I, I think the secondary game's gotten crazy. I was just merely pointing out earlier, if I hadn't already tried Pappy uh, or Poppy, whatever we decide we're going to go with tonight, um, if I hadn't already tried that, I would probably just go out and just honestly buy it on the secondary market because I don't want to play that long-term game. I It's likely that even though i've had eagle rare 17 uh 2020 it's unlikely i'm gonna get that from my relationships even though i've spent buku money uh at, at, at many of these liquor stores i i'm gonna have to probably buy it in the secondary it is what it is if i if i have a need and a want and the, the means to purchase it today you know um and then you got it the thing that i am though is is when it comes to Bourbon is I, I, not only do I buy it and drink it, consume it, but I enjoy it with my friends. And, mm -hmm. and everybody that's ever been over here to the, the whiskey cantina knows that whatever you want to try, we'll open it up. Let's make it happen tonight. You know, I don't, I don't I mean 
Mark, you'll find out uh, when you come down here in a couple weeks for the Mule Day Festival, which is April 2nd. You, you. We have a float. Um, follow us. We're going to try to do some live tweets about it or something. I don't even know if we have a Twitter account or a Twitter account, whatever it's called. Uh, I don't know if we have one of those yet, but we should get one. Twitter and a Twitter. I was actually going to post on, on, on uh, Twitter today just so I could get kicked off. Like, <laughs> like banned, but I mean, I need to wait, That's you know, apparently, because it is like a goal. I was going to put in my, my, my initial post was, and I forgot, I'm just wanting to see how long it takes me to get banned and then post what I was going to post. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go live on IG as well. No, I don't. Yeah, we, we can go out live on IG. IG is different. You can say <clears throat> kind of, I mean, first of all, you can put pictures and nobody's really going to care, but it's, <laughs> the, it's the, it's Twitter. They're like. Hey, you're not following the Gestapo rules. They're the social police. Yeah. But apparently uh, Chuck's reading a book there. We can all hear it. Anyhow, so Chuck, let's get back to you. Okay, I thought we were still, you know, all right. <laughs> He's scrolling. I thought we were still five minutes ago. Sorry. He's <laughs> trying to catch up. Uh, so right. another thing you want to do is, well, at least my in my opinion, is always go into the store with the intent on purchasing something. Whether it be a bottle of wine, a bottle of white claw, or I mean a case of white claw for your significant other, you know, whatever it may be, uh, buy something. Yep. That always gets them looking at you. And if, you know, it doesn't have to be top shelf stuff. It could be bottom of the shelf. Just buy something that you enjoy or someone else enjoys and, you know, you give it as a gift. But don't walk out empty handed. I, I, I'm not going to disagree with anything you said, except for the white claw. Uh, that's just stupid. Um, don't ever buy a white claw. Um, you put that on the same list as Jack Daniels. Well, I was actually being facetious about that, but I think you what? missed it. I was being facetious about that, but I obviously I, I didn't get it. Missed the point. It's because like, your delivery is very the same all the time. It's very dry. I know. Very I'm sorry. Man. So <laughs> deadpan, dry, whatever. Yeah, it did drive yes. right over yeah, top of me. Uh -huh. It actually hovered up here while I was. I know you're thinking about home. tomorrow morning and, and you know the uh, rubber glove on being that? put on. Are we back on that. We're talking about I'm knuckles sorry. up, aren't we? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's I'm all sorry. good. But anyway, um, <laughs> so no, I I do support always purchasing something, you know, and getting involved. I think that's something you have to do, and there's always going to be something that you're going to need there. Um, <laughs> let me put that's probably not the right thing to say um, that you need there because that would you know imply that you might have a problem, but that you might want, you know. <laughs> So, um, so that, for me, that, that is kind of one of the things though. It's like, I mean, I don't, I don't drink bourbon every night and no, I don't if either. I buy a bottle, you know, it, I'm not having bourbon mm -hmm. parties or something, you know, all week long and mm -mm. I'm running out and I need to go run to the store and get some more. So it's like, I may be at the store once a month, maybe. That's cause you're out of town the other months though. True. But I mean, so it takes a, you're in uh, Turkey. The relation, yes, yeah, I'm out of the country. Um, building those relationships, I say that, take time. that might be a that might be ship's movement and it might get you in trouble or something, terrorist attack or something. I don't know. No, I'm all right, but I was, I was gonna say one of those things, Chuck, that you mentioned too, because you were talking about other ways to build relationship uh, with people. This just works in life, too. Oh, absolutely, people don't care about you until they care about the way that you make them feel. There's probably a better way to say that, but um, what people care most about is the way they feel after having an interaction with you. Did you make them feel better about themselves? There's so many Did jokes here. Okay. Easy. <laughs> easy. Mark, <laughs> Mark, Mark's, Mark's trying to hold it all in right now. I am too. But, okay, hold it all in. There's another I'm one. I'm muted myself. <laughs> Yeah. Well, like for instance, I'm gonna sh shout out a couple guys. Like I know, I know Chuck and Mark uh, follow their Instagrams. Well, at least they come up on my feed pretty regularly. Um, you guys buy a lot of bourbon. You're always around and about. You're in different stores. You got different guys all over the place that you're you're talking to, and you're buying a lot of bourbon. So you've got you know four or five bottles every other week that you've picked up, and you got a a little run that you made and. Uh, that's not everybody, but uh, that uh, you get a chance to build relationship that way. Um, I'm not that way, but I will. I'll I'll chat a guy up just to figure out how he's doing, what's his business like, what's you know what you know learn his family. I don't know whatever it is. You know, I'm, I go in there with the intent to 
have him tell me what he likes on the shelf or what what is a uh it's kind of hard a good with, with pick. Gary though. Gary came out to this is this is interesting. But he doesn't drink. Oh, that's that's new information. You didn't know that you were today's years old and I told you that? I was. He's he's him, Bobby, and Tony. None of them drink. So how do they know? Just by I don't know. You tell me. How do they know? That's a good point. They read the cards. That's how they know. <laughs> I can do that, Tony. I can do that. I mean, it's, it's okay. I let him get a win every now and then when I'm up there. It's like, like they'll re recommend something. I'm like, yeah, I want that. I, he I recommended a couple today. I was like, yeah, no, probably not. What but do you recommend? I'm trying. I don't remember now. Yeah. I'm trying to remember, but I remember it being no. That's not a good one. Um, the only time he's ever really messed up was Kentucky Par. Oh, it was the George Dickel. <laughs> That's bad too. But uh, <laughs> but Kentucky Par. Oh my God, that yeah. was horrendous. David liked it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, developing personal relationships with people. You're muted, David. Is uh is highly underrated. I think. I can hear him. Hey, you can. Hey, you can now still I hear me. You. Yeah. Now I hear you. You heard me before that? No. No. Like a dog. All right. So I'm back. You're back. <laughs> Hey, sorry, we dogs can, are barking. Yeah, but we can we can move in. What time? <laughs> and one thing I wanted to mention, Mark, that I, you were yes, suggesting. I can't. I kicked you to the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can play. Yeah, I know. We both oh, have my. access. Oh my! I think too many people, you know, <laughs> on, as far as what Mark was saying. <laughs> too many people get hung up on basically driving from store to store. They don't, they never formed a relationship. They travel all over, waste so much gas trying to find that unicorn bottle without putting any, you know, while well, they're putting too much time into it for one, but they think they're going to find that unicorn bottle for MSRP or just a hair over. Well, it's most likely not going to happen. Very unlikely. And if you see that guy that, you know, post a Pappy Van Winkle 15 on one of the pages and he says, oh, I just found this on in the wild. You know, that's the big thing right now in the wild uh, in July, in July of all times. He most likely ever paid for that bottle, paid through the nose, probably. Maybe even secondary or more than guaranteed. Or maybe you lied about it. Finding it in the wild versus yes. finding it and wanting to brag or you know yeah. flex. That's true too. Mm -hmm. See y'all, y'all are lucky. I, I, I mean, he is a controlled state man. Mm. I, I don't. I, 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 I can. I guess you could say I could hunt, but you have to know when the deliveries are going to the stores, and mm -hmm. you got to be there at nine thirty when they open. And I work every day. I, I, I ain't like some of these who aren't working or whatever they're doing for a living and can afford to go be standing in in front of the store at eight thirty or nine o'clock waiting for the for the Blantons and the and the Eagle Rares to be dropped and get their get what they want. I ain't got time for that. So it's, I, I go and look for stuff that is new to me. I just look and see what. I, I, I really, uh, I, I've been drinking a lot of Bib and Tucker Six Year lately. And I'm telling you, it's, it's a really good, good pour. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I can generally find that on one of the three or four liquor stores that I stop at when I'm out and about. Okay. So I just, new stuff or, you know, I, I, I don't go, I don't travel enough now back to Ohio to get in on, on, on all the weller I was getting in there for a while. I'm not not in that market as much, if at all, in the last year or so. So mm. I, I living on living on what I got on the shelf here that I that I've purchased. Yeah, that's, that's how I've been is. for a while, and um, you know, in the, the the good graces of the 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 fine folks of the Whiskey Rebellion Barcast, I appreciate y'all for that. Can anybody tell yeah. us about the? Uh... Like say the loyalty program, like say Total Wine, maybe they have a loyalty program, I believe. Oh, that was an interesting. I know what it tastes. Oh, like. you do. 
with total one i actually so i am whatever it was the grand reserve um and so they've been so they they're doing their lotteries they just had the what they call the spring lottery and we're awaiting results from the winter lottery which supposedly is the end of march so i'm guessing sometime next week and it's weird because i'm also uh gold with the florida abc florida has a weird ass abc um billy you know which is not it's not really state controlled but a lot of the allocated bottles only come through their abc man so i got pissed off i missed out on them um, on a few bottles last week when i got my vault invite but so florida's abc does a vault so when you hit gold roughly x amount of times a year so i've gotten three invites since thanksgiving and um they just come randomly you don't know when they're going to come you just get an email, you get an email at roughly 8 a.m and honestly by 805 everything good is gone <laughs> so now total wine is interesting because total wine has a grand reserve and then you have a bunch of guys and gals mostly guys who just buy dumb shit thinking they're going to hit that high status and get something good, which is just kind of stupid to me, but you know, mm. I'm, I'm not buying bourbon just to buy it so that I can get a higher tier. So that <laughs> that's a whole lot of ifs. Yeah. That's too many, that's too many yeah. statements. I'm not doing algebra with bourbon, you know, and with folks, if you mm. find out the delivery days, um, you have a better chance of just walking in and finding something on the shelf randomly. Um, so, I'm sorry. And you can just randomly find. I've seen Booker's. Um, I've seen. Uh, that is loud as hell. Who is yeah, that? that? <laughs> it sounds so sexy, though. What is it? Chuck just Rob. transferred back to real. It's work. Oh, oh, sexy. Rob. <laughs> sorry. Mute your I, phone, bro. <laughs> I, I, I thought I had it muted. Yeah, okay. You don't. <laughs> Thanks. I can't believe it's that loud. Really? Oh, yeah, you can't? It's like... I mean, you're obviously deaf. That thing's loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Mark, real quick no, for you. You yes, can sir. do you can do the uh, you can do two two plus two, right? Usually. But you're not a mathematician, right? Not not usually. Okay. You know how many fingers are on your hand, right? Usually on it's the average, I mean, on occasion, it's different. The average human be, has how many fingers? More. It could be more on occasion less, but yeah. But for the most part, generally how many fingers on a on a on a, between two hands on a on a on a human, five and five. So you're, but you're not a 10. biologist, right? It was ten usually. But you're not a biologist, right? Except those who have that extra finger here. I knew I know a couple. Yeah, of and some people have tails too, and they have twelve. Like that yeah. guy from The Princess Bride with the extra finger. <laughs> or what about that person who has a tail? <laughs> the six finger man. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That glove. <laughs> yeah, that glove. You got a Nigo Montoya over here. <laughs> Nigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. I've never seen that movie. Oh, I'm fine. playing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw that's you up. <laughs> that's top 10 movie of all time. I don't know about top 10, but it's in oh, it's no, in the It's, it's, it's a, such a classic, man. It is. It is. That's what we need to do is have a you know what we got to do a whiskey rebellion uh, movie watching night. Oh, that work. Where we like, where we like. You remember, remember back in the day when they had that that robot and that other creature, oh, Mystery they, Science Theater, Mystery out. Science Theater, oh, yeah. yeah. We could Great do show. like that. Old we, movie. We could be sitting here drinking, and the TV could be on over here, and we could be like, Yeah. Do you yeah. remember the premise to that show? Like why they had to watch movies? No. It was like their punishment. He was like a rogue scientist, whatever, that started creating. How do you know all this shit? I'm a nerd. I don't know. But they got sent into space, and their punishment was to watch the worst movies of ever made of all time. And so all they did was make fun of them. And it just passed. It was great. It really was. They had to have a premise for the show. I, I didn't make up the premise. But they just, that was their deal. Holy shit. Was great like, show. Yeah. This is some yeah, horrible. Over here. C movies. Oh, I don't even know if those are B movies. It's those great movies. the way they roasted them, though. It was, it oh was my gosh, freaking like hilarious. Hercules and the island of Amazon women, or some other oh, I mean, yeah. just oh, hold crazy. Up, hold up. I was thinking the exact same thing. 
Uh, yeah. If I Google Mark, search this, is it going to come up on yeah. it come up on uh, X Hamster <laughs> or on YouTube, uh, Pornhub or whatever it's called? <laughs> Actually, it might be a unicorn too. Uh, whatever one. Hey, Rob, they better stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you boys killing me. Cheers. You guys got all your uh, mule masks ready to go? I, I do. do. Tomorrow. Yeah, mine I got mine right too. here. Oh, let's go. Don't show us. No, no. Don't show us. Don't, don't show yeah, us. Yeah, don't put it on. We'll take a picture, too, and we'll have it in there as part of our hopefully live stream that we do. But yeah. there will be some I, live updates. I will. For sure, uh, people. We'll do that for you guys. So, so my, my, right. my thought is there were there were options when you clicked on. Well, David got the purple one. Oh, you did? Who got a purple unit? mask? Yeah, remember you said it wasn't purple, and it is. <laughs> the mask? Yeah, remember the purple one? You said it wasn't purple. You no, I, I don't even think I bought that one. Oh, well, he was going to buy a purple one. I, I was oh, looking yeah, so through the different purple, ones. One was kind of purplish, but like, like a, a don't I don't know. That's a no pony. I can tell the difference, <laughs> by the way, between I was going to say uh, a mule and a donkey, because like all the masks are basically donkey masks. Sorry to spoil that for anybody, but like, pretty much. <laughs> I'm like, well, what the hell did it? No one's gonna know. They right? don't know. They all look the same. Every Mine last is a mule year. mask. It's in the closet, though. It's in the closet. Uh, so you, you there's, uh, I'm, and I'll know tomorrow after I, I do some conversations with some people. Do those conversations. I'm, 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 I am at, I am at eighty percent. I'm there. Cool. You are coming. Bring your ass, I'm at, man. Bring it. I'm at eighty percent right now. Oh, eighty percent. Right. Right. Get a little bit closer. You need to get yourself to. I got to buy a mule mask. Percent. There you go. I'm, I'm not there yet. I mean, I'll know more tomorrow. Elsewhere on less information. Eighty percent. That's already there. Yeah, like if I see like I'm updating something on my computer and it says eighty percent, I'm like, oh, hell nice. yeah, let's go ahead and get our clothes let's on. Go. We're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got to make sure I got coverage next weekend. Glad and, you uh, and no one else did. <laughs> 80%. 70 is like, I'm, I'm making the call. <laughs> it's 60 percent of the time. He's there every time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. That was great. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. You guys. Uh, like 70% of my fingers. Love- I'm ready to fight. Let's go. <laughs> I've seen your build. It's not going to be a good fight for you. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Percentages. That's all we're talking about. I'm not a fight. I'm just guy. playing. Oh, man. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to see you, you fuckers this weekend. I'm going to see Billy. I'll it's see not Billy this weekend. weekend. It's next weekend. Well, I'll see Billy this weekend at some point. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah, Are you going to be in Miami? Yeah, I'm, I'm heading to Miami tomorrow. Oh, nice. Yeah. My wife's and kids in Florida this week. Are they down there with uh, Jeremy's girlfriend? Uh, she's probably seeing Noah. Is your yeah. wife's sister there? Sorry? Is your wife's sister there? <laughs> yeah, my whole family, her whole family is there. You feel right. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know. Straight, straight, straight into that. Mm. As soon as, as, soon as he, he asked, you asked for clarification, I was like, no. I think that's the first part of it. You didn't need to. It just let it go. Yeah. <laughs> just for most things that he says, I would guess. That's but we'll guy. find out in two weeks when he's here. <laughs> I'm really shy in person. I'm very shy. How are you? I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, uh looking looking forward to it. Got our I got our placements where we're at. We're like, what was it, two thirty two in the in the parade line? So there's quite a few floats yeah. unless we're the last one. <laughs> that could be. That'd be hilarious. We, we can be the caboose. That's the best. We don't know who these we'll bitches the, are. We're putting we'll them the, at the very end. <laughs> we'll be the mule's ass. That's can the I reason why when I put my when I filled it out, I put my name as doctor, so that mm. maybe they wouldn't like go these jackasses. <laughs> can I can I drink root beer on a float? <laughs> well, we're gonna have a bottle that's gonna be that's gonna say mule fuel on it. I need that. Yeah, that's clever. I'm going to put that on the one of the barrels, oh, the, the, barrel. the tabletop thing. Yeah. Apparently, you can't see crap out of these masks. So I can see pretty good on mine. Can you? Yeah. All right. I haven't put mine on yet. <laughs> Every review was like, I couldn't see. <laughs> that's basically what it's going to come down to. We're, we're going to get some photo ops probably in these things because you probably can't really see very well out of them. Right. Um, 
Uh, the other surprise is I ordered shirts for the participants. Um, so Barbell Voodoo um, and Roy Mangrum and uh, Jeremy, uh, which you guys have met, he's in the VIP now. They uh, hooked us up on, uh, it, I mean, it cost us, but uh, I, I bought uh, some shirts for the, for the thing. that It's going to have the Whiskey Rebellion flag on the front and on the scapula right here. It's going to have the circle and then the WRB. Like whiskey right. Rebellion Barthes. And they're royal nice. blue shirts. I was thinking whiskey, nice. the Whiskey Rebellion sounds like a great liquor store. That's an were interesting you, idea. You, yeah, it, it is an interesting <laughs> idea. We'll talk <laughs> offline about this. It does. Because uh, some people already know. He's like, mute the mic. It really does sound like one. He's got cursed out offline. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling him right now. <laughs> He's like, listen, you mother. <laughs> Would you curse my brother out offline, damn it? What's that? Would you curse my brother out offline? <laughs> I didn't curse him. I just, I just filled him in. I filled him in. <laughs> I just, I, so hey, apparently I just I to to by the way, you can on. see you can see who reads the the um, the VIP chat. Obviously not this guy, because when I tagged him the other day, I'm like, dude, I never got a Roger up from you. He's like, for what? I'm like, <laughs> I tagged you in the VIP chat, and then he calls me back. And he's like, oh man, you put me down as White Mark. I'm like, man, we changed your name like a long time ago to White Mark. Like yeah. this is yeah. your, today's years old. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, by the way, way. hey guys, I'm White. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The best part, though, is when I was at your house and your friends asked, so why you guys call him White Mark? I'm like, we already have a Black Mark. Got to have a White Mark. I try to keep you away from my other friends, man. Oh, yeah. No, you didn't catch me with the one, Who? which we're going to have a talk about. The ones that were sitting like, so you, it was me, uh, you, and then Zach, Zach right here. Yeah. Those two over there. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't fill me in with about those. I got to hear about that later. Uh-oh. Um. Yeah. So, hey, I wanted to do a little shout out to some of our new members we brought into our VIP. And guys, and reach out to Jody or any of us. We can load you into the VIP. Mark's bud, Mark Hill, down there in Augusta, Georgia, putting some good info out there for us in the in, in the chat. Billy's guy, Gene Browning from West Virginia. Good guys, adding some good stuff to the chat. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to those boys. Absolutely. Why Gene was West Virginia? I got to talk to him. Okay. Yeah, he's over on the other side of – he's going down 68 once you go past Morgantown, heading okay. towards Maryland. Okay. So that, I can still go to that part of town. That's good, that part of state. You mean you can yeah. still go there? <laughs> <laughs> he that's can what, still go there. That's, that's, that's for the funny. after show. <laughs> <laughs> he, tried make, he tried to make it look like his screen froze by stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, did we lose Mark? Mark, are you there? Yeah. I think now it's time to open my KC12. <laughs> yeah. So I got a question for everybody. What's the what's a what's a bottle that you guys have killed lately? And how did you feel? Was it as good as oh, it was I didn't at the feel end? as good afterwards? <laughs> um, I need to know what, what Jody's beef is with me. I really do. You really think there's a beef? I was just playing. You know what it is? He, he's oh. mad because the Dolphins are now top notch. Oh, Ooh. dude! And, oh yeah. shit, dude! They got they got Hill, and, and listen, they gave up like the next ten years for, for him too. Dude, I saw a meme today. <laughs> I saw a meme. Yeah, today but of Tagovailoa throwing to Tyreek Hill. <laughs> oh shit! See, I did, where's this meme at? I like to know. Oh my god! It was a baseball. I'm, I'm it was a wide. baseball play. The the shortstop caught a backhand ball, hit real hard right up the middle. Oh my! It said Tagovailoa hitting Tyreek Hill this coming season. <laughs> the shortstop caught it on the hop, spun around, threw it down towards first, <laughs> hit the umpire in the, <laughs> in the side of the head, knocked him out. <laughs> oh, the, guy, the, guy, the umpire was like. 15 feet off of first place. It was bad. Oh. All I can say is this. I bet Miami will be better than Tennessee. That's for goddamn sure. Ooh. They probably will be. I oh, no, we still got Ryan Tannehill. So, I mean, yeah. that's, that's, We're not, that's, yeah. that's likely. Oh, shit. I got Carson Wentz. So, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we got two teams dumped him. 
How do you get dumped by two teams in the course of 16 months? Well, I mean, think about it, us guys. How many times you've been dumped? And don't say none because that's not true because you can't even go to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit right there. <laughs> I almost spit out my whiskey. <laughs> that's a good uh, guy. I, I, I will say this. Um, because of the spring break and everything that's going on here in Miami and people not know how to act like adults, um, we now have a curfew and alcohol can, has to be stopped being served at 6 p.m. 6 p.m.? I saw that today. Yeah. <laughs> It's Wait, so funny. Hey, really? I saw that. Oh Is that God. for adults? So here's here's the deal. I'm over 25. In the, in the entertainment district, if you have a store, oh, corner not. store, liquor store, whatever, you can't serve any alcohol after six o'clock. If you're eating at a restaurant, you can still have alcohol, but the whole thing has to be shut down. Everybody at 11:30. And I've seen some pictures. They trash in Miami, man. Yeah, Eleven thirty is about three and a half hours past my bedtime, so that's good. Listen, you've you've kept say, you've kept college kids locked up for two and a half years. Yeah, but they have done this it. last year though too. Oh no, this, How? Yeah, this is not they a did. new thing. This is, but see, here's the biggest thing that I think people don't understand: the people who are acting the ass are not from Miami. Yeah. Uh -oh. No, no, it's never no, been I, I, sure. spring breakers. So they're definitely yeah, never that's like tourists in Nashville. Like I mean, it's never you know, Nashville people acting stupid. It's always like the bridesmaids parties. But go ahead. Right. Yeah, for that, for me, yeah. I'm less than 20 minutes from South Beach, and I can tell you, it's been at least four years since I've been to South Beach, and it's only because somebody said, "Oh, I want to see South Beach." I'm like, "Oh, come on, dude. There's so <laughs> many other things to do. So yeah. much better." But if you're over 30, stay away. <laughs> But you know, it's interesting because, you know, the the people who have stores are complaining that their peak hours are between six and eight. Yeah. So you know, everybody feels like it's not fair because if you have a restaurant, you can keep serving up to eleven thirty. Um, I just think it's interesting that I think business owners are being penalized based on the bad behavior of other people, which I don't think is right because if the people who are down here acting stupid know they can't get alcohol after six o'clock. They just don't buy it before. That's all they're gonna do. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I just think that that's a that's kind of a I don't know if it's the right move. I mean, I get the whole curfew thing and whatnot because you know they're tired of the city being trash. But you know, if you go just on the other side of the causeway in downtown Miami, ultra is happening this weekend. Can you imagine what downtown Miami is going to look like right now? Uh, and Ultra hasn't been here in two years. They're what, what's the Ultra? I'm not sure what that is. Ultra is a music festival. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And they're expecting anywhere from 50,000 to 65,000 people on top of the spring breakers who are already here. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean. Isn't, isn't spring break almost over for most of these schools? It is. It's it's it, next week for a lot of schools. But what happens is a lot of people who want to, who came for spring break are staying for ultra. Mm -hmm. Think of all those jackasses here though in Middle Tennessee that come here for the uh, bachelorette parties. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, we're known for that nonsense and it's just like they call them what they what they call them Uha girls or something like that or Uwe girls. Little Vegas baby. Dude, it's the, no, we got we are the number one bachelorette party center <laughs> yeah. central area in the world. Cuz we're like a slightly more wholesome Vegas, basically, for that kind of Well, every place activity. is a more wholesome Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you walk around Vegas, it smells like the a mix Yeah, of but the, we call it Nash Vegas, right? Strippers. We don't, you know. Or prostitutes, escorts. I mean, it just and they're all sweaty, you're not too. To all of that. Prostitutes anymore. Oh, am I not? Is, that, no. is it offensive? Yeah, you got to call I'm sorry. Them, you got to call David, them sex you, you workers. Did, oh, is it sex workers? Yeah. That's the sex term. professionals? Nope. <laughs> You know, would it be sex engineers? <laughs> sounds fancy. I don't, I don't know okay. what level. I don't know what level you Okay, have so to be. again, let's let's talk about <laughs> urban. <Okay>. So, <laughs> <laughs> Try to save the show, guys. <laughs> hey, bring us back, Billy. All right. <laughs> so, has anybody finished the bottle lately? And was it as good in the beginning as it was in the end? You know, based on the time span. That sounds like a cigar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I uh, killed Sweet Wheat. I killed a double oak. Um, mm. Woodford? Mm. Yeah, Woodford double oak. Um, I'm damn near about to kill the um, that peerless double oak, but I've been going, I've been slow, slow on that. Like a so rock, his right there. I'm drinking my double oak tonight. And so, no, I won't finish it tonight. So was it as good in the beginning as it is the end because of the time span? So still kept. Okay. Right, I would say, it? yeah, for, for me, the Woodford Double Oak, yes, because it wasn't that long of a time time span. That and the um, the 1792 Sweet Wheat. My dad and I killed most of that over the holidays. Mm. So I, I will tell you something that I've had recently that uh, – I find to be one it's it's affordable but man it's one of the best things I've had lately and and it from start to finish and that's uh the company that is freaking good company is really good yes that's yeah. really, that's good. really good it's really good that, too, that is fantastic it's like $50 yeah, it's, it's really bad. really good $45 something like that I'll have to get one mm. well um, I'll about? have you one if you want one I'll have you one waiting on you on next week that's While we're talking about this, anybody else need one? <laughs> While we're sitting here, yes, right, yes sir. Two. No, no, you'll pick yours up here. I'll get it for you though. And then looks like Chuck wants one. All right, so we're up, we're up to two. All right. Did you put your arm up too, Rob? No, okay. no, I'm I'm good for a little while. I'm right. looking around at the bar I'm like, shit, I got a lot of bourbon to kill. Mm-hmm. Billy, I'm yeah. trying to hold this for you, man. Yeah. What oh, the blue run? run? That mm-hmm. stuff's really good. I like it. It's calling me. Is that the high rye? Yep. Nice. That's a damn good bottle. That's a good question, though, Billy. I killed a bottle of uh, Blue Note Uncut this Mm. week, and I had about half a pour left in it, and I just saw it sitting on the shelf, and I was like, I'm going to finish that one. Yeah. And and Jody was uh, at the house when we killed the bottle of – EH that I had. I didn't kill it with you though. I left. You, you, did, you left, but they killed it. Yeah, thank you. I was yeah. like, I, I don't make it sound like that because I, I don't drink and drive. I had like two drinks and I left. Well, I just said you were at the house. And then I drove like every, I, I followed every law on the way home and had two very small. <laughs> and I'm, I'm proud of you, brother. Jody doesn't it's, go out and no, drink very much at all. My experience in knowing him that he'll, I mean, he'll, he, he doesn't really go hard, you know, even in his own house, but like when he goes out, it's like maybe one drink and that's it. Yeah. That's, yeah, I, that's how he is. He's very cautious that way, legitimately. So well, I was, I'm I was, I was not proud. cautious. <laughs> no, I, I make you call me when you get home. Or that's true. That's true. That's true. Like it's like I'm like like his parent. I'm like he's, when you get there, you send me a text too. and you got made it home safely. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I was proud of that bottle of EH. I picked that bottle up in Mount Pleasant. Uh, it wasn't the single barrel. It was just a small Scroll batch, back. but. Um, I can't find that anywhere. I picked it up in Mount Pleasant at their little liquor store for uh, $39. I have several bottles just sitting upstairs. Mm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say after that. Uh, but no. the, but the, the blue note, I was like, man, I'm going to have to keep that a regular on my shelf. Oh, is that your foot? Yeah. Um, or did you just you know, want to get another one of these, the, the crossroads? So yeah, yeah. Good one. yeah I like that. That was That's a good, good bottle. I was like, and I, when you brought up the question, Billy, I was, I, I'm, I just remember making a note in my head. I'm like, dang, that was, that was a solid pour. And I need, oh, I need to get that again. Up. So, okay. yeah. I, I, I killed two weeks ago. I killed my old Forester 1920 and, Mm. It, it's it, it's up there as one of my favorites. So yeah, that that first that last four was definitely as good as the first four to me. Well, Rob, uh, do you like the Statesman, Rob? Do you like the the? I do. Oh I, man, I, I, I like my I like, favorite old Foresters. Yes, I like most so, of back, old Foresters products. Back to the company, real quick. You guys know how much I love Big Mustache. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh, the company's better than that. Oh shit! Okay, I don't yeah. think that's. Uh, I don't think that's. Uh, I don't okay. think that's being. There, there, I mean, there's different subjective. flavor I think, profiles. I, I think it's but. it's that that maple really brings out that French toast taste. It is yeah. so freaking good. It's better than that. I, I promise yeah. you, it is. Oh right. man. Okay. What's, what's this other bottle? Yeah. You guys probably know this, but um, uh, barrel. Barrel bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. What about it? Do you like it? I like I some of them. I don't like the seagrass or sawgrass or whatever it's mm. called. I love. I love the seagrass. 
I'm not a fan of the price point, which is why I started. I know. Price price point is so high. Like 100 and plus for most yeah, of them. It's like, it's like 80 to 100 plus. Yeah. Every time oh, I, I see it everywhere, and it's like it's around that price. But I've got three on, on, on staring at. I got the, a regular barrel. I got a seagrass. I don't know what the other one is. I'm but, more of a fan of the Stellum than I am the the uh, barrel. I, I like I like the Stellum too. I have that upstairs. Ever since that was that was a good pick that I'm glad I have. That is just a good good solid. If you if there's a such if there's such word as a daily drinker, that is a is a definitely a good nightcap. Each and every night, yeah. if you want to have one, it might not available. In What's PA, MSRP on that? It. What's the uh, MSRP? Is that what you said? Yeah, uh, I think it's. <laughs> What? Why are you laughing? Was that not, <laughs> not what he said? He's probably looking at something else. That is what I said. What's the MSRP? No, he's laughing at Joey. <laughs> My guy. I got nothing. <laughs> anyway, it's. I think it's like uh, 49 59 something like that. Is that right, okay. Chuck? Somewhere around there? Yeah, it's about 50 53 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. For which one? Stellum. Stellum. I have that upstairs, right. too. You can try yes. What about you, okay. Chuck? Any bottles you killed lately? Yes. Uh, that bullet bourbon that I bought last week. Uh, mm. Oh, it was that single barrel, that single store barrel, pick yeah. from Glamis Liquors. That was excellent. I killed it last night, and I bought another one today. So Amen. it wasn't necessarily kill. It was more like destroy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I destroyed that one, but it was so good. Then another one that I did, well, actually two more, I'm sorry. I, uh, and I'm one of those people that do drink maybe five times a week, so... Evan Williams bottled and bond. I killed that, and it was just mm. as good as it was when it's when I started it. Hell yeah! And then the yeah. Evan Williams single barrel. I killed one of those as well, a 2012. Mm-hmm. I love that bottle. It's a great bottle. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nice. What about you, David? You killed anything? Um, last thing I killed was that Buffalo Trace, um, which it went up a little bit in my estimation from the last time I gave it. Honestly, like at least six months since I had come back to it, um, it, it went up a little bit in my estimation. Mm-hmm. Still. I, I like having a bottle, but like I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not gonna like hunt for it or you know lose my mind over it when I see another bottle on the shelf. Like, like I got, I've got one, you know, this one, this one's done. Um, you know, I'm okay with it. I'm kind of like that with like a lot of like the lower tier, like allocated, slightly harder to find, like Sazerac rice stuff like that. It's good, but like don't lose your mind over it. Like if I see a bottle, if I don't have a bottle, I might grab one. But that's kind of where I'm at with it. Okay. Um, everything else is like. I'm really loath to kill any other bottles right now just because of where I'm at financially. So like I'll take little sips like, Oh, tonight I'm gonna have one of these tonight. I'm gonna have one of those. And that way it's like, I'm kind of whittling them all down a little bit and I don't, I don't burn through anything. Cause I know I sure as hell can when I want to. Is that Jason Boy, um, he's over his so. shoulder. Right there in the, yeah. but I don't know. Can't tell. Looks like are you talking about me. Or you oh, you, no. you can hear me? Sorry. <laughs> They're looking at something totally different, David. That whatever yeah, that is over your shoulder right there, David. What is that? This? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a little like tin knife. You've seen these things around. They're like a little, little I don't know if they're actually in Oh, I hadn't now. seen one since I since my grandmother passed away. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is I've had this for like I don't wow. know, like high school or some shit. It's all I mean, it's old. I don't I found it in like a junk store. But yeah. I wow. This week Joey. I sir, 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 we man. I killed this. We man all <laughs> I killed the Breckenridge and I killed the Big Mustache. Ooh, Breckenridge! I haven't had Breckenridge in forever. Yeah, I need to go back to that. And the Breckenridge really didn't last. I think I killed that bottle within two weeks, Mm -hmm. and that's only because I was literally drinking just about every day and just like you, David. I'm kind of going through everything that's open. Mm -hmm. One day this, one day that, and just trying Mm -hmm. to get it all down. Because David, do you like the Sazerac rye? I do. Yeah. All right. I think it's I think it's a good ride. It's a, it's it's one that I don't mind sharing so long as people are not cutting it with soda, because I I am that much of a snob. But like oh. yeah, anything short of that, yeah. Oh, what if I share something? Like I just have to like remind myself like don't share anything that that it's gonna it's gonna irk the shit out of me to like see people do other <laughs> stuff too. Like because I I will get my feelings hurt seeing it. I I just that's just who I am. Like. I've done that There's, before. I brought over like fancy scotch to my buddy's house. I'm there with his dad, and he's like, "Oh, this is really good with some Sprite in it." And I'm like, "I want to <laughs> strangle you right now!" But, but like, "Oh, Sprite, okay." Sprite so there's Sprite. there's a the reason I I only bring certain things out, right? If I'm having yeah. a party, I'm a, I'm bringing out my old Overholt bottle and bond it, you know, seventeen ninety nine a bottle. 
mm-hmm. bringing out the Evan Williams bottled and bond. I'm bringing out the Rittenhouse Rye bottled and bond. Sure, sure. So that, all, that, all sub twenty dollars stuff. So yeah. there's a there's a there's a question I wanted to ask you guys tonight, and uh, is she cute? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you, bro. <laughs> Mark's, got, Mark's, got a, Mark's got a two-track mind. One of them's Mark's, food. I'll Mark's let you got, figure out the other one. The other one is somebody's sister. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'll be good. I'll be good. No, no you're not. Making my hand. Not. So at the end of next month, uh, I've got a really, really big event that is kind of like a milestone career-wise for me oh, wow. and, and my company. And I want to celebrate that with a particular bottle why is this first time i'm hearing about this so was i not invited this too like the whole fishing trip too this is not about who's invited and whatnot this is what bottle would you use because i'm not invited to to celebrate a a landmark well for me it was gts uh 19 uh, when i got my dissertation that was my bottle that i used that okay I mean, it, it, it. I guess it's going to come down to you know how much are you are, are you looking to drop on it, man. Um, a thousand bucks and under. <laughs> uh, these yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's look on the soup kitchen right now, and I'll we'll find out what's available, <laughs> <laughs> or, or what Jody has available that he is willing to let go for a reason. I'm not even price. invited. <laughs> yeah. Mark, the question you would ask is. Are they are these people bourbon? Are the guests bourbon drinkers drinkers or yes. not? The yep. three people that I'm going to share this with, yes. And I'm not one of them. <laughs> uh, then I guess it would be up to you, and you would you would want it to be something very special that you've been wanting to open. Yep. Uh, personally, uh, as like a you know something for a very special occasion, such as a GTS. But doesn't have to be. Well, here's some uh, like you can get uh, the CYPB for six fifty right now in the secondary, <laughs> which is about I don't know seven hundred percent over uh, retail price. <laughs> well, um, it, it you know it's one of those things where you know uh, are, yeah you, you're probably willing to spend something that. Share something really nice with your friends, with your with your coworker. You know what's funny but, is Jay seen this today, this cream of Kentucky uh, in Murfreesboro, and I was sitting there going, "Oh my god, I wish he just picked it up for me." Mm, um, cream of Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's a good it's, bottle. It's supposed to be a really good bottle, and that's sort of in that two hundred dollar range, three hundred dollar range, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep, it's one fifty. Yeah. So I mean, I, I don't know that. It, putting yourself at a thousand dollars and under, you're you're putting yourself in in that secondary market. I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff out there in that hundred to two hundred dollar range. Okay, go there. So you know, Carter, you got uh, Kentucky Owl. Uh, it, the the high end Wiseman's is supposed to be really really good. That's at two ninety nine a bottle right now. I think, it, well, in PA, uh, it, it could be cheaper, a little cheaper elsewhere, but PA just jacked that price up on that one. Um, <laughs> hey, yeah, you know, got to love PA. Mm-hmm. Now, instead of going with that, Mark just hit on something that I would like to mention as well. Old Carter. Old Carter. That's Old good. Carter is. If you find it. Leaps and bounds better than Kentucky Owl. Mm. I agree with you there. I absolutely agree. I like the Kentucky Owl, and I really like the – let me put it different. I like Kentucky Owl. I think it's a great taste in bourbon. And Jeremy let me try some of the um, St. Patrick's Day one they did, the Irish one. How was that? That was really, really good. Really? Hey, Tony, um, Gary's got two bottles right now. The- but, the, but the price point, I don't think it's worth the price point. That's my only – How much? Well, well, off the back end, you're, you're okay because Dixon Deadman – uh, was behind that and distilled, yeah. you know, made that product what it was. So, Jody, what price after point? that, forget it. I think it was. I think it's for some reason. I, I want to say it's over two hundred dollars. Okay, so I, I can. I, I think you well, had it for one sixty. I might be able to get it for about eighty nine. 
Well, if you can get for 89, then then let me I'm know. Not, but I don't, you know, I was nervous. I, yeah. you know, 159 right now at Gary's place. He's yeah, got, one that's what he got. Two bottles. Okay. 159. That's yeah. that's yeah. that's that's still high for me. I'll ask my for guy. What? I'll have one of my guys for, in uh, Kentucky out. Okay. The St. Patty edition. Well, it's actually just Oh, that should be like 100 or 125 at the most. That's what I'm seeing. And that's a solid one. Hey, listen, um, Mark and I are going to are gonna jump off. David, you have control of it. I'm just going to leave the broadcast up, and you can send me a text when you guys are done. Cool. We're going to go upstairs and have some bourbon. Uh, but, guys, it's always fun. I'm glad I stayed on here for about an hour, but uh, we'll keep doing this and, and seeing what kind of stuff we can do. We did drop a new video today that's also that – w- that came right before this one. So make sure you check us out, like, subscribe, follow – Hit the notification, smash that, you know, do do the thing. Just do the thing. Saying all the YouTube stuff. Yeah. We got yeah. it all yeah. down yeah. right here. Yep. Anyway, Pick you guys up. have a wonderful night, man. Love all y'all. Hey, all right, brothers. Love you, boys. Later. Yeah, yeah. See you guys. Okay, now we can talk. Go, go. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, I mean, just, do we need to keep it live or we need to want to go back room? Talking shit Thursday. Uh, hey, um, well, Chuck, hold on real quick. I'm sorry. So, Chuck, your bottle did not go out yet. I had, I had a little mini crisis. I've got like, I've got like three mini crises going at the same time here in Kansas City. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. It's snow and cold. <laughs> it's wow. I'm sorry. Snow. I'm, I understand. I appreciate you. But yeah, I got you, brother. It's in the truck. Uh, David, your bottle was sorry. coming. There's a second bottle in there. I told it, it, it it'll go to Jody. We'll figure out what to do with it. It's, it's actually a bottle of Shankies. We'll figure out what to do with it. What is that? I've never. That's why we'll. That's why we'll see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's good. Though. It tastes the shit. It tastes like a uh, what's the not buttermilk? What's the the cake? Um, what do you call it? The uh, cake, butter or something. Cake. Buttercream. It tastes like butter. Yes. Really? Buttercream. That's the icing. Like a buttercream cake. Oh no! Nice. Like I said, it's really, it's really unfortunate that I've already lost those in a, a boating accident. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> so Dave, I, Dave, I think you'll like the town place. You, you let me know if you don't. Okay. But, okay. Shit, if you don't, we don't. Be, hell, I'm appreciative. Oh. I'm appreciative as hell. I'm, I'm subsiding town place, on town ph- philanthropy at this point. Town, <laughs> so, I don't know. Town, some it's shit. Town, town branch. The square bottle. <laughs> Yeah, yeah town, town branch. branch. Town branch. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I got DC on my cool, mind. No. Place. I'm sorry. No, town branch. You. Actually, I, I got us when I was in Atlanta. I got a store pick. Yeah, this so is a in Atlanta. This is it was it, it, it was a really good store pick. He he had a, did a nice job on that. So this pick is when I when he tastes so it's funny. I think I showed you guys a pick, right? When I walk in the door now, they just they start pouring shit before I before I even say hi. They somebody's doing okay. the back mm-hmm. and forth for me, which I appreciate. I love it. Mm. And so he's like, dude, you gotta taste this. I was like, all right. And so it was it was the town, whatever the hell. It was a store pick, but it my first my first impression was, and I would I, I need to get I should get Chuck a bottle. I just gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna get it to you tomorrow because I'm so busy before my flight. But it tastes like if someone married bourbon and a single malt together. Okay. Huh. That's that's what I first got. And I've heard people say apples. I didn't really get apple initially, but again, by the time I, I tasted it, but I was coming in, I was eating a lifesaver peppermint. So that's probably mm, threw your palate off. Yeah, yeah it I, I don't throw it off. <laughs> yeah, but I just, I just got. To me, it was the, it was like a marriage of single malt and a bourbon, but I still liked it. And I'm not a big, I'm not a Scotch guy, but I, you know, I do have some single malts that I like. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay. So, hey, Mark. I don't know, Dave, if I, if you, know, I, if I you like it, brother. Okay, if I do sure. see you this weekend, Mark, um, if you want me to send Chuck's bottles, because I got a box going to him on Monday. Well, the, <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry. I couldn't hit the mute button. I'm sorry. The, mm-hmm. the problem is it's, it's already packaged in, in the truck that I have. My okay. So I was able to go to FedEx because I sent four, four or five bottles home to me. I'm sorry. And Chuck, so <laughs> he said, "You're sorry." <laughs> sorry, bro. Ain't nothing to be sorry about. So UPS has a new box. Have you seen this new box? Yeah. No. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I didn't bring it. They have a new box that is perfect. That is perfect for dog yeah. shampoo. Nice. Really? You really love yes. dog shampoo. I had never seen this box before. So Chuck, that that bottle of West Bottoms fits perfectly in there with a towel. 
I'm in a hotel. You're going to get a towel. Shut the hell up. Oh, I understand. And I know all about the towel. Hey, Rob. Hey, look, Rob. I if you haven't towel. gotten the towel yet, I feel like you've got to do a towel. I, don't, I, can't, I think Billy's got a towel. Dave, you're about to get a towel. I don't. I can't think. Man, I, lo- I love towel fresh yet, towels, man. I used to live in Hilton's all the time, so I know all about the towels. Yeah. But yeah, it's coming uh, with yeah, it's coming with towel, brother. And uh, my wife asked me, in. "Where do we get all these white <laughs> white towels from?" Because I'll, I'll wrap my bottles up and throw them in old shitty and bring it home. Hey, I'm man, like, because I want old shitty around, right? Like, you should see how many towels I have at home. <laughs> Hilton and Marriott. <laughs> I have, I have, I probably have a, uh, my, I have a, um, what do you? What do you call it? Not the the pantry, a linen closet. Linen linen closet, closet. Mm -hmm. But then I have a secondary stack of white towels, and then I have uh, a laundry cart full of towels. My laundry room is full of white towels. My son and my dad love them. And then I have another plastic trash bag full of towels. Wow. I know I need to go. What do you do with all the other towels other than sending dog shampoo? I, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> I need to find a homeless shelter. Throw those with some socks. I don't know. I mean, honestly, yeah, you probably could donate them. <laughs> yeah, really. I nice. have so many. If shit ever goes south, you can sell them back to the hotel. <laughs> there you go. Poor <laughs> <laughs> dog. Uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Send yeah, them all. So, so, Billy, I was hoping I would find that blue one for you, but I have not found it here yet, brother. So, okay. Yeah. Um. All right. I, I'm I'm work on something in in Tampa, my my normal Tampa resources. Well, anyway, um, mm-hmm. yeah, with, with you know, you met those folks. That's a that's a different topic now. Yeah. So, but you know what I'm finding mm-hmm. though, a lot of places are drier right now with mm-hmm. some of the the sought after stuff. And I guess maybe it's because of the time of the year and whatnot. But that's what it is, Billy. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Bitter, honey. Even the two stores who I've built the great relationship with. I mean, I got some things that are just for me that I'm going to send out to you guys, but like a lot of stores are dry. Like they don't, they got the normal stuff, but um, his was really odd. Even briskets are hard to come by right now. Mm. Oh, hold on, Billy. Pause for a minute. Pause for a minute. So look real quick, Billy, with that, one of the, one of the top five barbecue places in Kansas City. He is going on record and on the news. He's going to several news and, and CNN asking people, when you come here, don't buy brisket. Don't buy brisket. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I got and, ribs. You know, the reason for the shortage is because everything else is kind of strange. And, you know, with briskets, you only get two per steer. So, I mean, you know, yep. if you're ordering 50, 60 briskets at a time, I mean, like Jesus Christ, you know, you're you're claiming a, a good little portion of the brisket market at that point. And I mean, I'm I'm to the point to where I buy briskets by the case now myself. Um, so even brisket is is a little hard to come by nowadays, and which is, I think this is probably the first time on record that that's really happened. You know, we've all had where chicken wings were going up and stuff like that, mm-hmm. but brisket, Jesus. So really, one of my one of my secondary vendors, I was looking at some, some wing prices. So my mainline vendors were okay. Like a 40 pound case of full wings was like 108 to 110 bucks. One first and second joint wings was about 125 to 130. But on my mainline vendor, my secondary vendor, $236 for first and second joint wings. Wow. Absolutely. For 40 pounds. Yeah, and you know, I I look at I'm like, who can afford that shit? Well, you know, and for for mm. shits and giggles, every time I go into Costco, I just go through the meat section and look at what they got and whatever. Um, and Costco's pr- used to be able to get four New York strip steaks, pretty pretty chunky, for like fifty five bucks. <sighs> Now it's all the way up to 75. Yep, mm-hmm. and it's like Jesus. Um, the tomahawk I did the other day, I don't know how I lucked up on that at Publix, and it was only like 25 bucks. I was like, Wow, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, uh, it, it's it, it's getting getting freaking crazy. I mean, I got 
So my company uses uh, Schweiden Sons, and we do fresh patty burgers from them. I just ordered a 10-pound case of 4-ounce burgers, 4-ounce patties. $38.86 a case. That's like 38 bucks, three eighty a pound for a patty fresh burger. Wow. Mm. That's... I was like, shit, good thing I raised my prices to this group this year. <laughs> So yeah, let me ask you this, um, Rob. In that case, do you ever have a bean counter who tells you, "Hey, listen, we can't do that this week"? Or, I mean, because no. you got to feed students and staff and whatnot. But do they ever come to you and say, "Hey, can we go with a cheaper brand or something like that"? Do they ever try to rope no. you in on that? No, we don't. We'll take the bite for a little while. We, we I'm, I, we won't sacrifice quality okay good that that's not that's not who we are that's not what we do we won't sacrifice quality at all okay because a lot of places are doing that oh yeah i i know i it's amazing as i'm looking at you know we're we're picking up some new accounts and i'm hearing some horror stories of what the old food service vendors are doing in these places so in in colleges we work on something called participation rate so that's how many kids come in and eat who are on a meal plan. We're generally looking 70% of the students to come in and eat, right? The college that we're going in and taking over in, in June, they've only got 20% of the student body eating their board plan. Wow. Which is, which is a testament to how bad their food is. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's insane, and, the, and, and, and I'm like, tw I, I asked the guy who's talking who, who helped sell the account. I'm like, they're only at twenty percent. I mean, that's bad. Think of a thousand students; only two hundred students are going in and eating in the dining hall. They're all going either off campus or they're hitting the 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 retail outlets on campus. I think there's a Chick Fil A and you know some of their own some of the that company's branded wrap concepts and burger concepts or whatever but that's that's not a good thing no it's not and that's why right now wouldn't be a good time for me to even think about opening up a spot it's just it's no too much i i wouldn't put myself through it it's i don't even think the the risk is worth the reward at this point uh i mean because going into a new place you know you start off you know, 25, 30 in the hole, if you're lucky, if you played your cards right. Um, and, you know, usually you can get out of a hole in two years. Now new places are taking three, four, five years just to get back to broke, you know? Uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. I, I mean, you you keep doing what you're doing, man. I, putting yourself in the brick and mortar, it's just, uh, right now especially, he, probably for the next year yeah. is just going to be insanity. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I mean, you, you said briskets drying up. Brit, pork, pork ribs are going to are going are, are going to start doing the same thing. You know, and, uh, mm. bacon is through the roof like crazy. Yep. Bacon. Ground beef. Like I said ground beef is. I was shocked at the prices on ground beef when I was looking at and, and going through and doing my orders. Yeah. Oh man. Usually ground beef is one of those things that you know I can I can make a good chili mac <laughs> with, yeah. with some ground beef. But even that's like huh. can I get some ground turkey or some ground chicken instead? <laughs> well, you, you know, you, you look at the situation and, and when you get to the point where you realize yes, that David. things like you know, steak, you know, ground beef, brisket, that's not even gold anymore. It's platinum. You you're paying you're paying platinum prices for that stuff, you know? I mean, yep. and it's like, you know, uh barbecue season is coming up. You know, I'm sure the price of pro propane's gonna be through the roof soon, you know? So it's like wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm gonna just Stick to my lane for right now. You know, it's just easier. Yeah. 
you know, I can I can keep all my prices in check. You know, ingredients haven't really gone up any. You know, bottles and all that stuff haven't really been any changes in that price, and it's not hard to get it. But you know, when I heard that guy say, "Don't buy brisket," it's like, you know, they're on thin ice, and they're telling people that because brisket is your money maker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So hey guys, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna let David go ahead and wrap us up here, and we're gonna yep. go to the back room. Very good. Yeah, you guys got to experience a little bit of normally what we do in the after show, um, but uh, it's just just a taste. So um, you know, please like and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Smash the whatever subscribe button um, and all that stuff on behalf of uh, Jody and all the guys at the Whiskey Rebellion. Thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you next time. Cheers, Cheers, my friends. Be good to yourselves. Be good to yourselves. Be good to yourselves.